napansin namin na kada taon, patindi ng patindi yung demand. Kasi bago nangyari yung confiscation namin, one month ago, naka-confiscate din yung uh, ibang law enforcement body dun sa lugar at ito ay umaabot din sa kulang-kulang dalawang daang uh, kiyaw o hilmay na. Many Philippine plants are also being collected and sold illegally. Leonard Ko discusses the extent of the illegal trade in a group of orchids known as Lady Slippers. Uh, yung mga iba known only from one, like yung sa Negros, yun, isang yung nandyan sa Akmodontum, no? yung Papio Pedilum Akmodontum is only known from that small patch ng forest dito sa may parte na malapit sa, sa Cuernos Mountains. No? And, uh, marami, and then, very attractive sila. And lahat ng mga, you go to the internet, mag-browse ka doon sa mga nagtitrade sa, hindi lang lady slippers, mga carnivorous plants like uh, pitcher plant. Oh, makikita mo talaga, grabe ang mga trade talaga dyan. Sadly, the list of threats to Philippine biodiversity goes on. Pollution and the introduction of exotic species also badly damage natural Philippine ecosystems. And climate change is predicted to have drastic environmental effects on this island nation. It's clear that reducing the many threats to Philippine wildlife species will require much hard work and money. But for what return? It's worth understanding some of the reasons to conserve Philippine biodiversity. Nakikita natin na sa pagsagip natin ng ating hayop at mga halaman at ang biodiversity natin, matutulungan ang ating mga tao kasi ang pagsagip ng biodiversity may benefits yan sa mga tao. Kung hahayaan mo siyang mawala, tuloy ang mawala, halimbawa ang ating mga kagubatan, saan tayo kukuha ng mga kahoy o tubi, ang, ng tubig? So kapag uh, sinagip mo ang ating, mga, ang ating kalikasan, makakatulong ito sa tao. Dahil kung meron kang gubat dyan, merong posibleng pagkukuna ng kahoy ang mga tao sa isang sustainable paraan o sustainable way. Pero kung pababayaan mo lang na mawala ang ating kalikasan o masira ang ating kalikasan, lalo tayong maghihirap. Healthy ecosystems bring long-term economic benefits. This is a powerful argument for protecting Philippine biodiversity. Forest ecosystems are important to people. Mangroves and coral reefs support our fishing industries and wetlands purify our water. The natural forests here are a wonderful natural sponge for rainfall. They absorb it during the rainy season and they release it during the dry season so that you get a nice steady flow of nice clean water and that's what everybody needs. The plants and animals within each ecosystem also provide services that are useful to humans. Take the Philippines' many species of fruit and insect-eating bats, for example. Fruit bats exclusively feed on fruit, flowers, nectar, and pollen. And they are vitally important as seed dispersers and pollinators in both forest and crops. They are said to be the primary reforesters because of its ability to disperse seeds at night. Yung insect bats naman, they are said to be, to be the major predators of insects including mosquitoes and other crop pests. Yung nursing mothers can even eat as much as their own weight. And bats in large numbers provide valuable insect and, and pest control, chemical free at no charge. The Visayan leopard cat also provides a free pest control service to humans. They are very important in the conservation. They are part of it. They are part of a balanced ecosystem. And second, they really control pests as well. So they eat rats. So they, will, uh, they are farmers' friends in the sugar production. Nature also offers us experiences of immeasurable value. Na pirma ko ngayon, pag nasa, ano, nasa gubat ka, sila yung nagbihihin ng tulong pang parang maaliw ka. Hinuhuni ka, ka, huy, ano ka dyan? Parang bang ganun. Pag walang ibon, wala mo lang tumutulog. Parang bang 
Para ka nasa gitna ng dagat na na walang kaalon-alon. Parang nakakabingi ang katahimikan. Sa yung may natunog na iba-iba, maglalaro sila dyan sa harapan mo. So, maganda ang feeling nga, sabi nga. It is actually a lot of fun what I'm doing. I'm a wildlife biologist. I go out into the field. I live with the f- I mean, I live with animals in the forest. I see them regularly. I, I, I mean, it is fun. A lot of it is a lot of fun actually. Taking a bath in the river, catching snakes, seeing them in their natural habitat instead of seeing them behind the cage. And helping to protect wildlife can bring priceless emotional benefits even to the nation's poorest. People in the uplands, the very poorest of the poor, they enjoy seeing crocodiles. Never say that poor people are only concerned about their food. They really like to see crocodiles. They want to tell stories to their children. They want to um, explain about crocodiles. They take pride in protecting crocodiles. I think that is probably one of the strongest reasons why we should do this. Of course livelihoods are important, of course the law is important, but above all it is this pleasure, the interest, the joy and the pride people have in protecting what is important for them, what is part of their national culture. Although it's not always remembered, Every living organism in the Philippines is part of this country's rich natural heritage. And each has as much right to life as we humans have. They are part of our biodiversity heritage in the Philippines. So they, ha- they have a natural right to live. No? We do not have the right to say they are important or they are not important. Wildlife, may karapatan din silang mabuhay. No? Uh, may karapatan silang mabuhay with the people kasi nga maswerte nga tayo at tayo mayroong nag-aalaga sa atin. Yung hayop, mabubuhay sila nang walang nag-aalaga. Kusa lang sila mismo nag-aalaga sa sarili nila. So tayo, biblically, may mandate sa ating kaagad na pangalagaan natin environment. Environment is composed of flora and fauna. So tayong squatters environment. Many people see it as our responsibility to conserve natural resources now so that others may enjoy them in the future. Matapok ko sa kamatuuran, pag apil na nako sa warden, kay daghan mang mga lecture nga na among naagian ma'am nga unsa di ay kabililhon ng maong butang diri sa kalibutan. Kay ug mawala na sila unsa pa may atong wan sa mga ugma sa among mga kabataan sa among mga anak nga wala naman sila ay matanaw nga bisan nga ni Wan anino drawing na lang yun mahabili nila ngora nang among ika kan ma'am Caring for Philippine biodiversity is also considered by many Filipino scientists to be their professional duty Although we are so happy to have discovered this new species not just happy we are so elated we feel so blessed in a way that we were able to to you know find something new um, we are also actually burdened by this big responsibility to follow through with what we have started. It is difficult to just, you know, discover something new and just, you know, turn your back when you know that you can do something to, in a way, improve the situation where you found it. As, as a biologist, as a botanist, ang ang ano ko pa rin is uh, mahalaga pa rin na, na hanapan natin ng paraan na you know itong natitira natin na, okay ang good quality forest natin is about one fifth na lang ng total land area natin and that includes some of this good quality residual forest so called ayun so usually ang analogy ko nga diyan is ano eh parang isang